bus to school. Many of you ride the bus after school to your house or daycare or someplace else. On the bus, you have a chance to zone out and daydream. You can talk to your friends on the bus. You can read a book. Sometimes the bus may get a little loud or too rough or even a little scary, but it shouldn't get that way if everyone follows the bus expectations. Expectation number one, sit in your seat and face forward. Sometimes you may have a friend sitting behind you and you want to talk to them. There's a difference between turning your head and talking to someone and turning your whole body around, getting out of your seat, or leaning way over. See? Here's how it should look. Expectation number two. Keep your hands and feet to yourself. It can be hard to keep your body still when you're in a tight space like a bus seat, but people are pretty close to each other when they're on the bus. Any body moves that are too fast, too silly, or too rough, even if it's an accident, could hurt someone else. It's your job to keep your body calm and under control. Expectation number three, use respectful language and volume. That includes manners and talking at a level one or two with your voice. The bus is no place for put downs, teasing, bullying, or leaving someone out. If you see anyone doing those things and they don't stop when you tell them to, report it to the bus driver. And then there's the bus driver. He or she is not there just to drive the bus. It's their job to keep us safe. It, so if another kid is doing anything unsafe on the bus and they don't stop when they're supposed to, please report it to the bus driver. If the bus driver gives a direction, like a reminder to sit down or asks someone to move to a different seat or reminds people about not talking so loud, it's our job to listen and follow the bus driver's directions. If everyone follows the expectations for the bus, the bus ride can be fun.